show with no strings attached. Do you ever feel that we are just puppets on this show, Chris? You know, like somebody else is pulling the strings? Told you so. We got him down, thankfully. Hello, and welcome to The One Show with Chris Evans. Say that thankfully a bit more sincerely, please. <laughs> and Alex shows now tonight with the imminent release of her new documentary about Thunderbirds. We're going to be interviewing Lady Penelope's chauffeur. We've got the original Parker here. Hello, Parker. Hello, Chris. Hello, Belady. Come on, how cool is that? <laughs> more from Parker in a bit. But first, tonight's guest is given... <laughs> right, next year. <laughs> next year is the 50th anniversary of Thunderbirds, and we're very excited... We're getting like Rich and Judy, aren't we? And we're very excited... <laughs> Evening, guys. Uh, ..to have Parker with us in the studio tonight. Yes, now, he's kindly agreed to become a one-show reporter and give us a preview of the new documentary which reveals the secrets behind the show. And to count down to the film, he's got five fabulous facts. So, five! <laughs> Hidden National Rescue was inspired by a real-life recovery operation following a mine disaster in Germany in 1963. Four! Scott Tracy was based on a young Sean Connery. Three! Each Thunderbird puppet has five different heads, each with a different expression. Seven! Seven. The National Physics Laboratory wrote to Jerry Henderson, stating that they thought Thunderbird 2 was heronautically impossible. <laughs> One. If you look at Thunderbird 1's launch pad, you could see a lemon squeezer on the wall. <laughs> So you can. Way! Thank you very much, Parker. Now, let's have your report, please. Thanks, me lady Jones. And let me say what a honour it is to be part of the one show. So let me tell you how this type of puppet filmmaking began. Back in 1957, when a group of filmmakers set up shop to shoot commercials. There was five people involved. Jerry Anderson, myself, Red Ferdra, Douglas Dobbs, and a chap called Smith Morris. Hello, children. It's me, Little Noddy. One day, a guy called Peter Hayes came in with a Noddy puppet. And uh, that's how we did our first little bit of puppet film. This entrepreneurial bunch went into high gear and created all sorts of programmes with puppets from Stingray to Supercar. But it started with... Four Feather Falls. Howdy, folks. I'd like you to meet my horse, Sir Rocky, here. Awfully pleased to meet you. The late great master of all this work, Jerry Henderson coined the term Super Mario Nation. Super Marionette animation had two features, a glass fibre head and the ability to speak. The sheriff's voice was played by, wait for it folks, Nicholas Parsons. I told you to get out of town. The most important creation was the program I started. Thunderbirds are go. It was chock-a-block full of special effects that gave it an Hollywood glamour. One person was a genius. In the true sense, it was Derek Madding. Well, there aren't any limits as far as we're concerned. Pretty handy with his fireworks, wasn't he? <laughs> Without his effects, I don't think the programmes that were made would have been half as popular as they were. Stone the Cruise! That was a bit close. One thing you may not know about me, and Lady P, is... Excuse me one moment, ladies and gentlemen. Ha, 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 hello, Parker. Uh, hello, Brenzy. 
There's something I have to sh show you about the brains behind supermarionation. It was a all a case of false perspective. So as you can see, the illusion of being underwater is done by holding the model on wires with a set built behind it, a fish tank in front, and reflections in the water. Cue the road and cue the sky boys. Effects like these added to the success of supermarionation. Most interesting. P -p Parker, by my c c calculations, you're out of time. Cool, blimey. I'd better go and make Lady P or T. Over to you, Mr. Heavens. Thank you, so Parker. Cool. And by the way, the voice behind the legend is here. David Graham is with us. Yeah. Good evening, thank David. You, thank you. Welcome to the programme. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chris. <laughs> it's a real honour to have you here. Tell us about the story of the pub in Slough and Parker. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> when he was planning the series and casting the voice of Parker, he suggested we go to a pub in Cookham where I might discover the voice and there was a wine waiter there and he called the wine waiter over and the wine waiter said would you like to see the wine list sir and that was the birth of Parker <laughs> and of course I tweeted him and dropped the H's and <laughs> widened the accent but uh, it became Jerry's favorite character but it wasn't just Parker who you voiced because you did yep. Brains and Gordon Tracy how difficult was it for you then when there were multiple characters in well it was a little difficult but Provided the characters were perfectly grounded and you left a pause in between, it was okay. I mean, like, if I was talking, uh, Parker was talking to Brains, he'd say, uh, what are you doing, Brains? I, 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 I'm doing a, an experiment. We'll get a move on. He, he said, well, it's, it's much h harder than d driving a car. Watch <laughs> it, Bush. Brilliant. Yeah, you did, you, that's how you did it. Yeah, that's how, that's how I did it, with slightly more of a pause, if I was in between the two different characters. OK, and here, on the verge of your tenth decade, by the way, congratulations, you're still working. <coughs> yes, I'm still working, and I'm doing other series as well. But the brand new Thunderbirds is, is coming back to ITV next year? Next spring, and they've asked me to revoice and reprise Parker. Quite with right, too. Oh, I'm chuffed about, I'm mm. chuffed. OK, now you've already recorded uh, some stuff, but you can't tell us anything about it. <laughs> no, I can't tell <laughs> you anything about it. Can but you tell us who Lady Penelope is? Yes, Rosamund Pike. Oh, Lady of the and Moment. And she's lovely. She's lovely to work with, she's lovely. And are there strings, or...? No, no, it's CGI. CGI. Computer graphics, it's right. modernised. I mean, the basic plot line is the same. You know, rescue, rescue, baddies and goodies. Right. But it's it's much more technically up to date. And when you sat down, David, Jamie said, I'm incredibly starstruck, but it wasn't just because of Thunderbirds. It's because you voice a character that would be well known to lots of parents out there and children, if yeah. they're still awake, um, from Peppa Pig. Yes, Grandpa Pig. Could we have a little bit of that? <laughs> well, I'm going out in my boat and I don't want any in the way oh. because I'm, you know, I don't want anybody to bump into me. <laughs> Are you properly starstruck, Jamie? I'm starstruck. And he's also, he's also the wise old elf in Ben and Holly as well, which is uh, another great character. Yeah, he has well. a lovely character. But, you, I mean, you've got a history with kids' shows. Tell us about the other stuff you Well, do. I originated the original voice of uh, the Daleks with a wonderful voice artist, sadly, no longer with us, called Peter Hawkins. And I also appeared in two series with, as an actor in Vision with Bill Hartnell and Tom Baker. And in the Tom Baker one, it was a, uh, called City of Death, and I played a Russian. Did you a Russian? Okay. A Russian. And, and by, by the way, here is the make and do. This is the original make and do of Tracy Allen from Blue Peter, and this is Anthea Turner's actual make and do. Now you tried to do this, didn't you? Jay? I did definitely try and do this. How far? Did Anthea you get Turner is a talented lady. Yeah, it's really like detailed, that. isn't this it? This is now in a museum. We had to borrow this from a museum, but this is the original make and do from Blue Peter. Wow, that should be in Anthea's house, surely. Maybe Anthony lives in a museum. I have no idea. No idea. <laughs> anyway, round of applause for David, please. Thank you, David. <laughs> Real pleasure to talk to you. All right, filmed in Super Marination, is in Picture House Cinemas this weekend and available on DVD from the 20th of October. It's not quite finished yet, but they do promise they'll get into the shops <laughs> in time. <laughs> now, it's a bit of a coincidence, but Jamie here was... And we'll leave you with Jamie and Don't You Know. 
Well, don't you know, baby? Well, don't you know, baby? Now, don't you know, baby? Little girl, little girl, don't you know? Please listen to me, baby. Girl, I'm in love with you, so turn your life down low. Turn your life down low. Whoa, turn your life down low. Turn your life down low. Come on. You know I've been away for such a long time But now, baby, I can't get you off my mind So come on now, baby Come on, come on now, child Oh, listen to me, baby Love your daddy all night long Talking with my baby, love your daddy all night long. 